Kate, <laughs> Jen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you for having us. I was tethered. I was tethered. I was trying to right. untether myself. I don't like to be tethered. Again, let me go back. Uh, my guest, uh, we connect on Facebook. Yeah. Um, again, I'll remind you. Uh, some people might call it stalking. It's research for me. Yeah. You know, I mean, call, it, call a spade a spade. It's yeah, okay. Exactly. But welcome. Good play. Good yeah. play. Oh, Lord. Here we are. Yes. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Yeah. Um, again, you, you lovely ladies bring uh, a very cool topic. What am I, do you feel like something's cutting out? It's totally yeah. my fault. All right. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Why is he in stereo and you guys aren't? You, <laughs> Jen, you Are you ser- talk? Check the rhyme, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. All right, Russ. Let's let's. Russ, don't hide. Russ, settle down, Russ. Settle, settle down. Simmer. Simmer down now. Simmer down. You're gonna sit with Aunt Ed Dunn in the back. Front row. Uh, <laughs> tell us about what what is this dudewar thing you doing? Okay. Let's, well, we kind of so, need to start from the beginning. All right. Yeah, I think we really should. All right. um, After you were born in a manger, then what? I was, yeah, I was born in a manger. <laughs> yes. Um so me and jen back in the day i would say within 2013 2014 somewhere around there we both kept nude modeling for the same photographer you you two did we used to be not in like front of the crazy lens. porn nude. No, very no. No. Takes no. Takes wow, wow. i had originally did it for um the boy my boyfriend at the time i thought i had seen some which friends. means they're all over the internet no yes, they're not they are. Yeah, bo- <laughs> uh, yeah, an ex-boyfriend <laughs> totally come on <laughs> no so like literally i was like hey this is a really cool idea um hey. i'd be willing to do this and i didn't tell him as a surprise and so at this shoot I did the first my first shoot and I was like hooked. I was like it just boosted my confidence. I felt great. See, I've heard and it that. was like wow. Very like empowering. I looked at myself, yeah. It can be totally different. And then so like fast forward like six months, there was another photo shoot and Jen was at the same shoot. It was a fifty shades of gray. This is before the movie came out when it was still just books. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had this photographer that her and I kept working with. I had worked for this photographer. But you for all years. didn't know each other. We did. We did. Okay. We didn't no. know each other from Adam. And she walked in. She was a hot mess. <laughs> she came in late, and she's like, "There's traffic, and it's so fucking horrible." And I was like, "It's a, it's fine, cool girl. Like, I don't. You're weird." So anyway, <laughs> but then like we started talking, and she had mentioned to the photographer at the event, like, "Hey, you should start shooting dudes." Well, I was always giving him a hard time about shooting men. I'm like, there's a market for this. You should, you know, do boudoir for men. And then he was, no, 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 I don't want to shoot like, men. He's like, dude, no, I'm not I'm here. Not like, I'm not it. doing that. And then we saw each other in another photo shoot. And then it was like another one. And then we just became friends. We're like, let's go get a drink or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. You, you like all another... keep connecting at we, different like, photo shoots yeah, that, that were not planned. Correct. No, like we so. were friends on Facebook. And yeah. then finally one shoot, I pulled her aside and I was like, do you realize I'm a photographer? And she's like, yeah, like, okay, cool. And I was like. Like we could totally do this. Like if you want to do get the man on thing. board, yeah. we can do the man thing. We can shoot guys. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with that. And she was so, like, "You find the dudes, you put together the project. I shoot them, I edit them. There we go. Yeah, There's our project." Boom. So, so basically, you had to say to each other in a code, uh, "No homo." I, I mean, mean... No, I'm, I'm, I'm following it. <laughs> what? What? No, what? Well, it's a girl's way of like. So when, it, when like uh, uh, overly like uh, heterosexual male like the rapper started it's like they say no homo it's like like they were showing their feels they were being you know I showing their feminine side and being em- emotional but then they cry no they they call no homo as like a i don't a, think women are as insecure as men no no of course not <laughs> of course not but i'm just saying that you <laughs> all still had to decode something that you both knew already yeah so in having to decode that it's just a, it's i was just dumbing it down a little bit saying no homo <laughs> Take me down for all you out there. Yeah, yeah I mean, come on. We got we got to be we got to help everyone in their levels of consciousness catch up. I see. Yeah. So that was it. She said, "You find the dudes, you pick the place, you I'll come shoot up the them. project, and I'll shoot it." And here we go. And uh, we did. That was in like September. I got of all the dudes what together. Year? Oh, what like 2015, 16. No, we've been it was doing this two or three 15. years now. Uh, over that, because okay. I remember when we booked and i look back now and it's so funny because it was either 2015 or 2016. we rented a hotel at, at 21c and we sweet. had some guys i mean these guys weren't paying like we we're like hey we just want to try this out and see how well we do totally pro bono mm-hmm. and i look back now and i just cringe when i see him because i'm like oh my gosh i thought that was amazing and that looked but yeah, for no. the time Horrible. it was that's the thing right. it's about evolution exactly. like, if you in the present moment it was amazing <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. That's the it thing. Was is you, like, you have yeah, to keep growing like, oh my evolving. gosh, look what I did. Look what I created. Mm. Like, and I just felt amazing shooting it. And then when the guys got their pictures back, um, I think you were doing something here, Russ. Yeah, like, I can't hear it. Russ! It's my headphones. Oh, wait, there. There's, yeah, wiggle the uh, the Throw me out of the bus. I'll take it. (laughs) All right, keep talking. So, anyway, we shot these guys, and, like, when they got their pictures back, they were all, like, stoked, you know? And we were like, oh, great, we're doing something good. So then we just kind of kept going. Because the truth is, is that, like, those guys had never, was not able to do anything like that before so it's so, uh, them. a couple oh, okay. of them had right. okay. one right. was a local celebrity really? <laughs> i won't say his name but he because i don't know if he wants to, well he probably does like he's intention ho but that's okay we love him Get, what's his background he works at <laughs> he's at one of the cast members at play cool <laughs> do you know who i'm talking about I, I actually okay. readily don't, mr but. valentine i don't care i'll just call him out great suspense segment <laughs> like who is it yeah. so we yeah. shot mr valentine he is kind of like the mr america of the gay universe he's very very well known i reached he out was to him like he's mr. good looking he's modeled no, yeah. he is gay yeah he is okay. uh, yeah he's modeled he, and he, he knows exactly what to do in front of the camera so i was like okay with this project let's pick one easy model that we don't have to constantly coach he shows up he, he's ready he knows what to do and he was perfect for that first project mm-hmm. Um, to see a model that knew what they were doing that we didn't have to constantly coach because we were still kind of blind although we had been in front of the camera and we had an idea of being models quote unquote because I really don't call yeah, us we're not, mo- we're not signed to an agency we just, we're just girls that pay for shoots really is at what the it time, was yeah. but, um, go back a little bit well no finish that sorry so, go ahead. But, so <laughs> yeah that was the pro- we wrapped yeah. it up and we had like some great work even the guys that were completely green to it came out with a couple of really good photos and that's the thing if you shoot 100 photos and you get two or three amazing photos out of it then you got a good set oh, yeah. so we were we were very pleased with what we got at the time but when we look back on it in hindsight is 2020 and we see a lot of things that we could have fixed and but it was have fixed and it was a, a big transition because i went to college for photography and you know i was shooting seniors families weddings and i still do all that but then i have to separate family friendly stuff (laughs) yeah so like i have to separate all my social media accounts but so i was used to all that but then when i dove into this it was like my creative likeness just it was off the charts oh yeah my juices were just flowing it was (laughs) (laughs) it was just like amazing like i could really see a photo or see a person and i was like i see this and it was just it's, a, it's amazing i can't even explain it when i shoot you know and some people they look they're like you shoot porn and like how do you do that and i'm like it's not like no it's, no, no, it's, it's not it's not porn i'm not porn. looking like they're like well first of all you're not doing any video right it's no, strictly, not it's strictly still, photo yeah. so yeah. people are like you have to be checking these guys out and like do you go home with these guys and it's like no it this is art to me like i see a body yeah, I'm cur- or, wait wait, wait a minute though it's a good distinction the art it's like art that may or may not turn me on and, and that's okay if it does it's like, like that's what i think exactly it too. is okay it is okay if it yeah, does because like you know different things turn different people on yeah so why do people have to hate on the thing that scares them the most yeah like i'm i'm just fascinated with the human body like i don't care mm-hmm. how big how small you are like when i shoot somebody it's just i think what i get out of it is like just boosting their confidence and making them feel great about themselves i mean mm-hmm. we it's when you shoot men and women, like women are so like, oh my gosh, I'm so like self conscious. I have stretch right. marks. Men are like the same way. Oh, yeah. Yes, they I've are. Heard. I would I've even heard. say so more bad. so. Yes, more and so it's than like the women. when you photograph them and then you get they get pictures back. I mean, they're just like, oh my gosh, I didn't see myself like that. And that's like when I'm In like, yes. In a well, you can actually yes. see it on set once we get a good shot. She'll yeah, show I'll, like, them on the back of the camera, like, and they're like, oh and my gosh. You can immediately yeah. see the nervousness fall, and they're like, that's me. And you can see a little giddy up in their step like when they're they're like oh it's I, I so guess nice good, like it's just know? so <laughs> great to see like when i'm shooting somebody to like see a positive from mm-hmm. it like you know so is the dude war thing obviously yeah. guys but we call you, it dude yeah, war, yeah. I, I love that um <laughs> are you doing females as well yeah we shoot okay. women too yeah, but so i mean no, we cater no, more to men just yeah. because everybody you know, shoots women right every, no exactly. one shoots men yeah, and like do, guys do you do you have a, any competition in town sure but do we care no, 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 I'm, no, I'm being serious. Not much. No, I mean, there are other people who are doing dudeoir type of. There's this, there's this line that 
like men don't want to shoot men because people are automatically going to think that they're gay. Mm-hmm. And it's like, they're like, oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not gay. Like, I'm not into that. And it's like, you know, I shoot women. I'm mm-hmm. not gay. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they just think that, you know, mm-hmm. it's going to make them look bad if they shoot a man. They're scared. They are scared. <laughs> they're intimidated. They're thinking, well, I don't really understand it. What if I'm that way? Oh, no. <laughs> Like find a picture and be like, "Wow, did, I really did like I really that." Really enjoy oh. him looking at me that way. Yeah. That I will say that most <laughs> people that shoot men or sexy photos of men, they make them look cheesy, and that's actually been a big thing that you've seen floating around on Facebook. It's the oh, dude bar where gosh. they do the women's poses. I despise that when we are tagged in that as individuals because they're like, "Try this out." No. Although it's like funny, haha. At first, I think that is exactly what we try to Avoid. counter against. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, because men are sexy. I don't care if you have a little bit of a gut or like back hair or whatever. We. <laughs> We can 100% or a mad bun. We can yeah, 100% make brother. you extremely sexy to the opposite sex or even the same sex, whatever that you want. But we're going to do it in a very genuine fashion where you don't look corny with, you know, like the whole playgirl pose. Um, you don't look corny uh-huh. like the, like you're trying to imitate a woman. You are genuinely yourself and you're mm. relaxed. And I think that's hopefully yeah. what we are bringing across, or at least I would like to think that we are bringing across in our work because it's 50% candid. And 50% staged. Yeah. there. That's the beauty of photography is mm-hmm. there is uh, some of it that's smoke and mirrors. So when people mm-hmm. say, oh, I don't look like that guy. Well, that guy probably spent 30 hours a week in the gym for the last five years. That's why he, he looks doesn't like that. eat. <laughs> and then we have a lot of clients that will not allow us to release their work where they look like a very, very normal guy. Like uh, the average Dad husband bods. will hire us. He's like, I want to do something sexy for my wife, but they won't sign a release. So you don't see it on our body of work. But if we could show you, we would show you mm-hmm. where a man very much like Russ or yourself, we turn into this playgirl model that genuinely looks relaxed and comfortable with himself and it doesn't look cheesy or I don't really know how to explain it because we can't show you. But you all you, And we're you, very you, private about it. Like you, you like know. your website. Authenticity. You, well, you, you have <laughs> That's what it's about. Authenticity. Authenticity. Um, Correct. Um, samples and stuff you know, yeah you know, i mean you know, and all the things that you might you'll find on social media we have you know permission to you know post those yes, everybody anything. signs a contract and there's a lot of people you know that don't want them and they were like oh my gosh i'm chubby a little bit but you know but it uh, doesn't how many of those people are doing it say for a significant other or first most you know, of them are yeah. i mean some of them and, and that's do. understandable that they don't want it out yeah right. Yeah, and then some of them do because they're like, oh, I saw myself in this way. Like, I want to, like, sh- get into shape. Like, I want to feel better about myself, and I see what I look like, so I need to work on myself. So then, I mean, it's kind of like they are doing that for themselves, but they're also realizing, like, hey, maybe I want to do a little more. Maybe I want to get fit more. I want to look better. So, I mean, it's kind of, you know, mm. it's interesting. It sounds interesting. <laughs> now, I'm curious, like. It feels interesting to you, <laughs> <laughs> the, the men you do, yeah. is it uh, majority, are they gay males or is it? 50-50. I mean, is it really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's another thing too is people come to our page and they think that, you know, we just shoot gay men and, you know, and they're like, well, I don't want to be associated with that. I'm not gay. And it's, we're not, I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're straight, if you're gay, I mean, we shoot whatever Mm -hmm. and actually we shoot men from all walks of life because kate and i will see like a hot bartender for example or a hot guy in a restaurant and we'll hey have you ever done professional photography before like if if we want to approach them to be in our portfolio Mm -hmm. and that is what i've done that sometimes i mean i love that we have the average man yeah Yeah. yes i love that we have the average guy he literally is the average dude one of the guys that models frequently for us is an icu nurse he would be saving your life on the brink of death Mm -hmm. we've had cops um, large crane operators for heavy machinery. Dirty, like, dirty boys. <laughs> like all kinds of men from all walks of life that you could never. Pilots? Pilots, um, farriers. For, for big, you know, like airliners. Like, have um, you ever had any podcast hosts? No, but you're the first. We're we, going to do we a all, shoot. We with always you. remember our first, right? right? <laughs> Yet Kevin. another dirty boy. <laughs> Kevin, I think you should 100% do it and talk we'll about it. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. <laughs> Boys aren't supposed to make noise during sex, Kevin. It's not very masculine. <laughs> it's like who said? I'm just I'm just playing all these stereotypes in my deep dark psyche that are coming all out right. right now. How many bourbons have you had today? Yeah, bourbon now. I mean, it's it's been a couple. It has been a couple. That's why I Ubered here, dude. It's good. 
like a boss there you go. in the Uber. I mean, I checked Lyft and then I checked Uber and I checked Lyft again and then it was like 37 cents cheaper and I'm like, boom, Uber. <laughs> boom. 37 All right. cents. You really you didn't. You got to be frugal. You <laughs> What's the what's the um, what's the big picture here? I mean, how far are you you all plan to take this? I mean, is it, do y'all have a, like a? We both have day jobs. Okay, all right. So this well, is not your goal. I do photography full time. Okay. Um, I mean, that being said, which is, which is, is different than yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like is, I still okay. you know do the family seniors. I do a lot of um, traveling for photography, you know. But I used to be a reporter, and it's like. For real? Like yeah. a, what kind of reporter? Like, like the news. News? Yeah. Local news? <laughs> no, let's not go there. No. <laughs> it's just a newspaper. Small so, town. We'll just leave it at that. We'll small um, town. Small town girl. Small town living in, in, living in a lonely, lonely world. world. <laughs> she um, took the midnight train to It's, it's people who gather information to inform <laughs> okay. the masses in their local area of what's going on, Kevin. It's, it's I mean, it doesn't matter what I scale it's on. I get it. I get it. So, yeah, like that's, I was doing that for a long time. I was a pharmacy tech at one point. Um, but I've learned like that my passion is photography. And it's really hard for me to like stay in a job that's not that because I'm not happy. So then, like spur of the moment, I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm quitting my job, and I'm just gonna do photography full time. So you know, I do this on the side. I come down here because I live in Indiana. Mm. So I come down here on the weekends, and um, it's just Russ is not needed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is what I do full time. And then she has a day job. But, you know, we make it work, and I come down here quite often to shoot. And that, that's the weird thing. Like, so you, you, your all's office is here? Like, what, what do y'all, what would you say? I guess we could here? call my house the headquarters. Okay, so. But we shoot anywhere. Well, you, we right, you go said you live anywhere. Anywhere. All of Dare I say studio? <laughs> Dare you? So, but it just depends on the client. I mean, some clients, like, want an urban look. Some clients want a classy look. Some want to, you know, go to the gym and have a fitness shoot. So we, you know, we cater to our clients wherever they want to shoot. Um, Where do you draw the line? Full frontal, full frontal, and oh, pornography. Yeah. Oh. oh, you do not do full frontal. No, no. I mean, it is. It's what? A, on occasion. <laughs> it is seen Spoiler on occasion. Alert, it's, it's obvious that when you are dealing with naked people, you're going to see well, some that. level of their full right. nakedness. But as far as photographing them, yes, we, it's implied <clears throat> nudes. Like we don't oh not okay I actually didn't know I, I, I'm only seeing the implied pick yeah but I, I was thinking that we're there still was pushing action. boundaries with the implied picks yeah I, I mean okay. we have no, a line I, yeah. though that you know we don't cross right. and you know some people we get messages and they're like hey like I really want this picture of this and or me and my wife and we're like okay you need to find somebody yes. else because we are professionals we're not some porn industry mm. this is not they're, something they're we're not offering. like uh, they didn't find you on Craigslist, yeah. that kind of thing. It's, no, yeah. but they <laughs> asked us for Craigslist stuff, and we flat well, out like, no, we're not yeah, doing it. And, and, and actually, like, if I answer it, I'm not near as polite as Kate is. I, <laughs> I try to maintain, I'm professional. This is my job. This is my career, and I, you know, yeah. I'm very, you This know. just happens to be a, what's the, just another type of. It's a branch of our tree. Exactly. So yeah. Kate's photography is literally the trunk of the tree. Mm-hmm. And from that, we have families, seniors. We've even done a couple of weddings together. I don't really help her with a lot of the family stuff. I predominantly only help her with the boudoir, couples, and do. And Jen is like, she is my <coughs> creative assistant. So like, creative J- director. Director. <laughs> Jen does Get all my right leg here. work. So as far as like finding locations, wardrobe, models, models she does a lot. Of the theme. Really, I just show up. I shoot pictures. I'm okay. behind the camera. I do all the editing. So she she's kind of do, doing the front end, right? Yeah. So how, we, how do you how do you come up or go about finding models or all how are you all sorts of it. like I said, uh, if there's an, a very attractive bartender at a place that I frequent, I will uh, after I've made friends with him. If make you're nice still friends. here at ten. <laughs> Yeah, this is what definitely talk This is why them. Jen does that <laughs> job. She does that, and I'm just like she'll be like, hey, he will be like. <laughs> I think you don't care. <laughs> She'll be like, hey, Kate, I, like, I met this guy tonight. Like, he'd be great to shoot. And yeah. he's totally down. I'm like, well, set something but, up, and then, you know, we'll shoot. But, I kind of drive the car. I'm like, I need you to show up with this haircut. You need to get this kind of spray tan. I want you to, like, I direct exactly what you're going to yeah. do leading to, into it. To, I will coach to you. That detail. Yes, yeah. I will okay. coach you every step of the way because we don't want our work to have a, we don't want to drop the ball. Mm-hmm. And that's 50% the model and 50% our work. Mm-hmm. So the better prepared that the model is, this is what's going to happen. This is what you're going to show up looking like. You, Russ, you need to stop playing. 
Settle down, Russ. Set, I Russ, just thought settle. of something really funny, and I couldn't hold it in my head. We could tell. You, you are like Kevin's alter ego. Like, the, the side of Kevin that he's afraid of is you. It, really? What? I have been yes. called intimidating a lot, so I wouldn't No, it's not. It, it is intimidating to most Russ. people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That is a lot but yes, to, so to anyway, in a roundabout way, if you book a shoot and somebody is um, conversing with you, it's most likely going to be me through the Instagram or email or however that you book it or through phone call. And oftentimes if they're local, I will meet up with them at a restaurant or whatever. Here is the contract you're going to sign. What would you like to negotiate? Because a lot of people have jobs that they can't. Mm -hmm. I can't be. Well, there's got to be some horror though. stories. To go we along actually with this. have combed through a lot of them and. We've had a lot of horror story requests, but well, never on can, set. That's all right. But see, this is this the podcast. I need, I need stories. We give don't me, have a helicoptering, but that's well, not no, no, a no, horror but what, what, story. Give me, give me something uh, <laughs> goofy, weird. No, that just was, some of the weird. Nothing ever like on set that has ever been. Okay, like that, but, it know? doesn't get that far. Okay. Yeah, we all do right, not. Up front, what, what are some requests? Oh my god! People asked for. They said they wanted penetration shots and i shut that down immediately i was like we don't do that and no. they kept coming back with well what about this what i yeah, no. said no, no we no, don't shoot no. that and then i ended up kind of those are the ones him. those are the ones that wind up after they ditched you they went on craigslist yes. to find that. yeah they're like they damn it i automatically think of you know because i'm trying to get out of the whole cultural thing of everything a secondary choice it's like okay look this is our art over here we do this if you want that we can oh god i got a apprentice they'll come in they'll film it <laughs> and it's like you know it's it's six it's 69.95 i don't know whatever it is yeah you're like payment. yeah yeah well if you want a dvd it's this dvhs is this well, i mean you, you know, gotta actually, you gotta service all groups something yeah come on don't shame don't don't you know ex exhibition shame well i guess my point is is that he's actually got a point where you you're if you're getting those requests do you have we don't have anybody we send Access. personally. Don't. You don't. No, okay. we. And you don't we even just want like, to. No, we well, just block it. Rush. We're done. Only so much energy. I get it. Focus on the art. Focus gotta, on the art. That you is know. exactly well, you how don't, I You don't am. think that's not an about art. the money. It's not you about the money. Know, after you don't think that's an art. That can be art. It is that could be somebody. Oh. That's not. Well, no, my, I didn't say not. Me. Not uh, you. Yeah, it could be. A, it, it could be still. Yeah, it could be yeah. Not it's a motivated do. art, though. It's a very motivated okay. art. I will right, not so that, dabble. In we so don't want to dabble in it because there's a fine line where we're already losing respect with what we do, or we're trying yeah. to show Wait a minute. the masses. You're already you're because of the dude war thing. You're that losing respect. That is why yeah. nudity, nudity Definitely. in general, nudity is still a taboo, and we're showing people that it's still tasteful. But it's not per se nudity right it's not it's nudity nu call it what it is call a spade a spade it's nudity wow well, is it nudity? it's the human form kevin no i just <laughs> i would think if you're not showing no it's implied nudity but it's not is it they're naked i know I they're mean, naked but but, but you but, don't see full frontal no. or, there are still people that try to shame us for that and what we're showing is this is a beautiful thing you don't need to shame it. even so that's, females yes. let's just say with females you, yes. no full frontal on no, females no. They do. No, so that's no. any yeah I can, you can chest. see chest okay. but you're not gonna see the goods down yeah okay. we're not penthouse we're not spreading them no pasties though <laughs> But here's the thing: it's like, or we <laughs> are trying to get away from the shame. We don't of want nudity. it to look trashy. No, I you know, get that. We try so to be very who's, classy who's about it. Who's, who's using the word trashy or sh shame? Kevin, this is the Bible Belt. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good point. Well, Which, and it's like me. I came from a small town, and back home, like down here, people are they love my work and they think it's amazing and just yeah, great. It is and when I go back really home, good. you know, um, you know, I have family that's like, you sure shoot the, that? He's the one that does that. <laughs> yeah, stuff. yeah, I do. I have you people repent, that's like, repent. They're like, you really do that? <laughs> like, don't you feel bad about that? And like, I'm like, you know, this is a person. I'm not. It's not my place to Russell, judge what, them. What would Jesus say? No, I'm gonna riff on what you just did. She's the one that's doing all that stuff we thought about while we were jerking off at night, <laughs> but we're too afraid of it and we think it's bad, so we never got to do it, so fuck it all. <laughs> In a sense. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's like, um, back home, like, it's just like people kind of, you know, I do have, there's a few people that reach out, like, they're like, hey, I want pictures for my husband, you know, this would be a great present for him. I'm like, yeah, totally. But then I have people that are, you know, completely like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she shoots that. You know, she shot my daughter's wedding and then she's shooting this. 
but but, but, but it is separate. It's it a separate, separate entity. Yeah, and what I do don't... you call like the dude? What, what is there a name for that? Skin I mean, on skin boudoir. Skin on skin. Yeah, boudoir. that's yeah. our. And then your other one is just. I just have photography by Kate. Yeah. That's just my basic, you know. We do keep them separate, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally separate, you know. Once in a while, I'll throw a pitch out there like, hey, you know, it's Valentine's Day, pictures, you know. Not mm -hmm. like I'm going to throw a spread of naked people out there. Right. But, I mean, just because some women, you know, want to do that. So, going back to the uh, horrors or, or crazy <laughs> requests, there was like a couple. I'm, the, I'm what else? literally the doorman, and I'm well, pretty good, good at filtering it, but, oh, it out. No, I got it, yeah. but what you, tell me tell me some things you, you had to filter out. A lot of dick pics through, um, oh, boy. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> setting up my grinder account, and I need to. Uh, I let Jen do, like, no, 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 all the just social media. They'll straight up just send us dong, and I will respond Wait a minute, they'll to send, they send you? We talking flaccid or erect? <laughs> <laughs> Both. I had a gentleman that was in women's lingerie. Now, I know Kate's probably cringing because she's like, don't talk about it. I had a, <laughs> I had a gentleman in women's lingerie and high heels. Kate, your dong facial out. expressions are great. Um, I understand that it takes all kinds. With those dimples. But here's the thing. He, he, he wanted to know how much a shoot was. Will you shoot this? You know, it sends me a picture of that. And I was like, no. No, we, we don't. I respond uh, politely at first. If it comes the second time, then I'm probably not so polite. We'll just leave it at that. But... Yeah, and, and, you know, of course they're blocked and whatever, because at the end of the day, we are trying to get rid of the shame and the stigma of nude photography. That's why I let her, like, deal all social media. I let her do it. Like, she <laughs> answers all the messages. and I'm Nine just times like, out of ten, if you're talking to us on Facebook or Instagram, it's most likely going to be me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kate will some uh, sometimes. And then when it uh, comes to certain points, if they ask about certain things about the photography or about the shoot, there's only so much that I can answer until I do have to pass it on to her. But I feel like... Kate and I. But you all been doing you all been together doing this for yeah. yes, three and, three plus years. Yes, and yeah. we're opposites, which is great. So it's like mm. country mouse, city mouse. Over exactly. Here. She well, sees things from one point of view. Yeah. I see it from another. But and like the two no, of us together. I'm like Hill Jack, and she's like city girl. <laughs> it's so funny. We can we can even kind of tell by the way that we're dressed this evening. <laughs> I don't know. I dress city tonight. I think you both look amazing. Whatever. Russ, <laughs> Russ, Whatever. Russ. Side note, Russ, just real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She she kind of has yeah, yeah. she kind of has the that whole D one look. D1 the what? Look. What's the D one? It's a code. Don't worry. Oh, is it? Uh, uh, you know, I thought you meant no, like you know Russ, D basketball for no, like Duke no. or something. Division I don't know. One. She got that Division <laughs> one. Yeah, there you division go. Division one. She got that Division one look. Division you know, one better be good, or I'm fighting good. both of you no. in the fucking parking lot. Division, I mean, Division you know, one was is very good. Everything after one is. Two something and else yeah, it's, you know yeah, it's not one it's not one you know, yeah, yeah there can only be one one it's only one one yeah there's there's two ones and two so what the fuck uh. this is true Good God. so uh, anyway yeah. meanwhile back at the ranch yeah. <laughs> so yeah this is what we do so that yes this is what we do i will say um i my whole goal with this project is to I really have a love-hate relationship with men, <laughs> but more so on the love side, I will say that. And I really do want to show men that they can be sexy but you're, and not you're, be cheesy. But you're totally hetero, right? Yes, oh, uh -huh. yes, I am. Uh -huh. I want to show well, men that they can be sexy and not cheesy and not corny and not overexposed. And um, it, It's unfortunately the guy mentality. A lot of the guy, men. like, let's, I let's just use social media. If what she says true, then I'm just going to kill myself. <laughs> men are like super hard on themselves. <laughs> very, like, very much more than women. And I yeah, never knew that. I go easy on my <laughs> Sir, sir. sir. Not me. I got the Kung Fu grip, dude. <laughs> Ripping it off. Uh, well, yeah. You know, uh, like on social media, when, when, yeah. if you, uh, you know, if you accept a friend request from a guy or you like something, they, guys a lot of the mentality of a lot of guys on social media th think it's like an invitation to yeah you that's know. why i go on like, like a weekly cleaning spree <laughs> it's like that without it's, photography for a woman that's yeah so I mean, we're and used it's like to that it. with men too i mean women are the same way sometimes yes I women mean, are nasty we're nasty <laughs> <laughs> Speak for okay yourself. i'm nasty i don't give a shit <laughs> nasty nasty or n nasty goodness it's good almost nasty. like women are transitioning from being a commodity to an equal part of the society yes, exactly. it's like it's it's a maze balls kevin i love it 
I love it, Russ. So yes, no, I think women are entitled to be sexual beings and own their sexuality. I'm a sex-positive feminist, although the term feminist makes me cringe nowadays. But um, sex, like think back to Madonna in the 90s. She empowered her sexuality and came out with mm. that sex book and she's like, I like this and I don't give a damn what anybody thinks. And that's exactly kind of the mentality that we think, we like this, we are empowering men, we're empowering women that enjoy looking at it. We're empowering the women yeah. that shoot with us as well. And if you don't like it, you have the total right to not look at it. Go away. Exactly. Like, That's right. how I feel. Like, I'm all about shooting men and women and making them feel good about themselves and just empowering them and making them look at themselves in a whole different light that they wouldn't have in the first place. And so that's my goal. You know, whether you're gay or straight, it doesn't matter to me. Um, it's just that feeling of knowing that I help somebody feel great about themselves because mm -hmm. I remember being in their shoes at one point when I was like oh I don't feel great about my body and this and that and then when I did a photo shoot I was like oh wow like that was amazing mm -hmm. and it's like that feeling I want other people to feel that you know that's I, that's what I get out of it like just you know feeling good about yourself self-love right. and not mm -hmm. hating on yourself I will say at this point in the conversation though thank that you. um I'll just keep it down thank you um there are a lot of people though that overuse Photoshop and we refuse like there are guys that will will you give me a six pack even though they no. don't have one? We're like, no, this what is a three hundred, we're not airbrushing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're not putting butler. every filter like, yeah. on you, Rust. period. But uh, the thing <laughs> is like, though, that. what we will do is part of the conversation I have before I meet with a model is what do you love about your body? What do you not love about your body? And so I will go through and choose poses that will help or them accentuate the things to, that they love. Uh, that's a yeah, nice segue. Well, give, me a, give me an idea on some of that. Because we're, not, gonna your, give, your we're not going to make you what you aren't. Right. Get the screen, give me a, a, you know, some questions that you screen people with. or Give me that process. What do you love about your body? What okay. don't you love? Uh, do you have an idea for yourself already? Do you have pictures maybe you've screenshot that you're like, oh, mm -hmm. I would love to recreate this. And we don't plagiarism. We don't like shot for shot. Right. But do we do like to get an idea. Work. Like we'll have them look at some work. Be like, hey, if you see something you like, show us. So we kind of mm -hmm. have an idea of what right. you want. You we'll know? take it. We'll run with it. Luckily, we've had a lot of male models or whatever you want that they have shot it with us a few times. And her and I come up with our own ideas and we're like, will you do this? Like, whatever <laughs> like we, we shot. have this great idea. Yeah. And they're like, please do it. I like, trust yeah. you. And even yeah. though the whole time they're like, okay, like you can see in their face, they're like, this is really weird. For example, we had one male model. We were really nervous to work with him the first time because he had already shot with some really, really big names in LA. He's a signed, contracted model. Oh, wow. Like, don't blow it. Like the whole time we're working, don't blow it. Oh my yeah. God. You know, so we take him down in the basement of my work, which at the time was this medical laboratory facility. Oh my but gosh. it was abandoned. It hadn't been used in 20 years. It was totally creepy. It looked like a haunted house. We covered the walls with black trash bags. Trash bags. Looked like we were going to murder this guy in a Dexter's Kill Lab. And you could see it on his face. We're like, no, no, no. We promise. We're, it's going to come out really good. Do we promise. Just please trust <laughs> us. Looks ghetto as hell. We nailed it with the yeah, shot. I can actually amazing. show you the shot if you want. And uh, he looked at it mm -hmm. in hindsight and he was like, I had no idea looking at the set that this is what you guys were going to come up with. So oftentimes our set, because we don't have a set location and we don't have a studio, it looks ghetto as hell. We take people to abandon. Uh, well, the, buildings just where the they're going to get murdered. Had, um, <laughs> um, on Instagram, there's this uh, a page called Master Photographers, and they post like only the best like doudoir photography. Male, so, men's fitness, and that kind of stuff. So, um, sp like of the abandoned places, we had shot at a friend's house. We had like stripped wallpaper in this like tiny little room that like st the paint was coming off the walls. Like it looked bad, and he was like, "I like really is this." And I'm like, trust me, please trust me. And he was like, all right, I, I trust you guys, you got this. And then we nailed it. And like now that group that, you know, they have like 130,000 some followers yeah. and like they post our work. Exactly. And it's Here's like the actual shot. If you guys would like to see it that we're talking about. And it's like, wow. I think actually, I think I've seen this one. And it's like, you know, the, on Instagram. This is on yeah. Instagram. Yes. And it's like, we can yeah. make something look incredible. But we can polish you, you just have to Kate trust are us. really good at polishing the turd. It's pretty badass. <laughs> I mean, really, it is. You I know you're not into naked dudes, gentlemen, but you have to admire that that's a pretty lighting wise, yeah, uh, exactly. everything. That's a pretty good shot. And most of the people, though, that we work with. I can with, dig it. <laughs> I mean, they trust us. I mean, and that's what I that's what I value a lot is that we can go to them with an idea and they're perfectly, you know, okay, I trust you. I've worked with you, you know. We worked with one guy very recently. He was at that same shoot. Uh, his name's Austin. I met with him, what I said, like I sit down with a lot of models, we go over the contract and we talk about what they want. 
all he had were headshots in his whole portfolio. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you need some full body work. He's, no, I don't have a nice but body I have like a the dad other guys. Bod. Like, <laughs> do you know how many women would they would rather see a dad bod yes. than like a ripped body? We get the biggest response from normal normal, normal guys. Body. Yeah, just normal average guys because those are the guys that you might actually That's have as your genuine. boyfriend or your husband. That's real. Like the other ones are like, it's a that real guy fantasy. does not exist. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, he's out of my league. You know, so they have like this. They see a picture of somebody that has a d dad bod, <laughs> and it's like. I don't know what the big deal is about I, I, it. I get, I get it, Ron. Let me, let me let's hold this. I got a good one. Clearly, this is a sales pitch stop. Well, <laughs> no, it's exactly. not. It's not. Here's <laughs> not. Clearly. We, we get it. The, the whole mail, we're not Brad Pitt. Uh, Brad Pitt but, doesn't um, always sell. No, but, but that's the thing. Yeah. is like men think they have to look like that to like attract a woman. And that's not it whatsoever. I mean, yeah, that's great. If you have a great body, woohoo. Kudos to you. <laughs> My question is, after we get over all of our hangups, you know, as a as genders, what's going to prevent us from just going, eh, 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 I mean, full scale all the time and just sleep, eat, eh, letting ourselves go, sleep, eat, eh, sleep, eat. I mean, we're just you that's know, not you, homie. Yeah, no, that's that's a, that's I mean, I'm not saying it's like gender specific. <laughs> it could be guys and girls, yeah. and, but the breeders are the problem. The breeders are the problem because there's more and more and more. Actually, you know? I would say the gay community is very, very harsh on their own kind. Yeah, probably. They are very. I'm big, I'm big uh, like with the gay community around here. And a lot of them are extremely harsh on each other, which is, is really sad to say. Um, but th they are the worst. And, and I would say even straight men are harsh against each other just like straight women are. They're peacocking for each other. They're yeah. like... Definitely. Not really dressing up to impress the opposite sex. That's true. But at the same time, they have the responsibility of understanding that if, you know, they have to promote the middle because we have to progress as a species. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. I would agree with you. You know, that, that, so that's a, that's a grave responsibility. I mean, we all bear it. But at the same time, you know, it's like somebody's got to protect it because if it, it would eat itself from without at some point. Agreed, but we're talking about visual crack for the ocular fiend. Okay, that's what Kate and I provide. See, I was trying to go to that level, and you went like a couple levels above my head. <laughs> and now it's like, visual I got... Visual crack for the ocular fiend. I believe what you're saying, but it's like, damn it, I can't think about that right now. It's like, are you on like a DMT trip or something? Like, what's going on? I don't know, Kevin. I never know where I'm at. I'm, I'm going through this whole consciousness journey. It's like, it's tell. a lot. It's, it's up and down. It's Come around and around. Come on down. Let's with us. Why, though? It it's so oh, fun. Bring it down and up. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun. It can be fun. Um, this is some entertaining stuff. <laughs> Is it? I think so. I mean, I'm sure that you interview a lot of very entertaining people. No, I do. But, well, but I'm not. You're the first of this. But what did you ever want to know about naked men? We'll tell you. <laughs> no. I, I, we'll you, tell I really them. might. Oh, I'll tell them. Right here. I mean, I think. But, uh, they could have better asses. Is all, but I've got, I mean, they could have better asses. If you're looking uh, objectively, if you're looking at a naked man, most of the time you're thinking uh, the female ass has got them killed here. I would agree. I would disagree with you, Rob. Really? Yes. Come on. <laughs> I would fully disagree. Most men have a great bubble butt, and uh, women, we have to uh, position just so. I'm know? talking about white guys right now. Come on. I'm also talking about white guys. <laughs> Good God. The sound bites from this segment oh my goodness. alone. I mean, I'm hoping I'll be famous one day. I'm, I'm, I'm almost, I'm half dead. So maybe <laughs> if I could just get like a thousand views, I would love that. Uh, we'll, we'll see uh, what we can do here. Um, so. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So really, like the whole point of what we do is we cater to women, but we cater more to men just because there's not a big of um, a demand for it. I mean, and there's a lot of men that are uncomfortable and they're very uncomfortable if there's another man shooting them. Like, they're like, oh, this is weird. Like, ugh. That whole yeah, homophobe not, thing. Yeah, totally. So, like, that's why we come in. And, you know, there's always both of us at the shoot. You know, it's never, we don't sit there and watch you undress. We don't sit there. Yeah, I mean, we do we a lot of awkward, privacy. like, let me uh, find something to do. So yeah, I'll like, see you, you naked. go do your thing. <laughs> like, we're not, like, 
some crazy pervert people. Like, people think, like, oh, you're shooting naked men. Like, hey, can I come check it out? No, this is a mm. private shoot. We are very Yeah, we don't allow girlfriends' wives. It is very, it's professionally done, too. I would like to <laughs> yeah, bring that up. Like, we do not allow girlfriends and wives, and that has been, uh, I really? think, to we our success. Have, but it's always, it's always a disaster. And it's typically... The, the girlfriend or wife is requesting to sit in. Is yes, that kind of thing? Because, because they're, they're like, we want to see what's going on. Is Are you guys doing something? Are you yeah. seeing something you shouldn't? And then it distracts our client. And then mm -hmm. they're not. Yeah, like, they tense up. Like they're they like, I tell. don't know what to do now. Like, I'm really nervous now. And I don't. And then it's like, you know, if you want this is that shoot, something you could, you, you, you could have should have weeded out up front. I, mean, I do. We do yeah, now. Yeah, you do now. Okay. Oh, I mean, that was just it, from an yeah. experience. Guys. It's not that with everybody. I mean, yeah. if there's somebody's wife that wants to come, if they're, you know, been together forever and they're fine with that and they're excited, like they're the ones that are like, hey, I wanted my husband to do this. That's fine. But I'm, you know, you we've had a, a model once that came in and his girlfriend wanted to come hang out. And he's like, oh, my gosh, like, I really don't want her to be in here because I know how it's going to be. And so we we made a wait downstairs in the hotel lobby. We just nicely was like, "There's a bar downstairs if you would like to, you know, have a drink." And she was like, you know, upset about it. And it's like, we don't want to make our client feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part. Relationships before. needs better communication. <laughs> the, you know, they shouldn't have come to you with that problem. That was not <laughs> your problem. Yeah. But the so worst is like, she wasn't even old enough to get a drink. That was the real problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there's that. But well, what? What? <laughs> so how old was the male model? Around the I, same yeah. age, but old enough to get a drink. We'll just leave okay. it at that. Yeah, I mean, without giving too many. For details. the purposes of this discussion, he was old enough to be shot naked. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, and that's the other thing too. There is we a do, there twenty-one is a, and over, right? Yeah, like we do not 21? shoot. I choose twenty-one. We've had a couple people. Yeah, eighteen. I. You I may want to get a drink. Who knows? Only because of our um, portfolio, and mm -hmm. I make sure that I'm like, look at our portfolio. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Like, and then, you know, yeah, we don't shoot. We I negotiate. Mean, from we there. have a line. I mean, it's what we do is, like I've said a million times, it's professional. We do not sit here and bring teenagers in or, you know, 17, 18 year old right. men or women. You know, it's that's not, not what we do. That, that, that part has to be frustrating where, and, and that there, there are people out there that do not take the work serious. Exactly. I mean, and it's so frustrating. And you're still dealing with that now? Yeah, I, can I mean, see, we do here and there, yeah. yeah but okay. I mean, but now that, like, people know who we are more and that we're out there more, you know, we have a lot of people. Like it's some kind of gimmick, you know. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, it's and it's like, yeah. no, this is what we do. This is yeah. for real. And this isn't, you know, some little. Not, not some guys gone wild video. Yeah, no, it, this is like all. professional work. Yeah. This is. You know, great work that we put out. It's not just you know. You all, do you have a website too, right? Mm -hmm. All the, we just use social media. Okay. Do you just okay. Yeah. Just, the that's beauty like of social media is it's free, and no, you can I, use yeah. the tags to find people more freely. Now, right. uh, we did kind of set up like a Google ad thing, um, but it was we've not really catered to it because uh, Instagram, for example, has been our best platform. Yeah, it's Facebook like, will quote have unquote cock block you in every attempt. Right, but do have you tried the? How do you pronounce? Patreon, pay, you know, I have no idea. Patron, pa pa P A T R, like yeah, Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Yeah, we Patreon. have not. Look I it looked up into because it for personal reasons. I know the site that you're speaking yeah, because, of. Yeah, because and I know, have I have a page, but I have not like set it up. But that's for personal reasons. Right. That was the chef. Okay. Thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Patreon, you know, something up an edgier type of side Instagram to... allows edgier well, that's content. Right. You yeah. can kind of get a And that's away where we get most bit. of our work from is like Instagram. Mm. I mean, um, people reach out and they want to book a shoot. And then we have people too that are like, hey, I want to shoot, and, but they don't want to. How pay. far have you all Oh, they how... don't want to pay. Can we you explore don't, that? Yeah. Uh, and it's like, this is our job. They don't want to pay. Why? They think so, it's like trade for print or, you know, like, hey, we had let somebody me shoot you. Last week, we had somebody write us. If you're looking for model, and this was a female, if you're looking for models, I'm available. So I said, great, our one hour packages started, da da da. And then they disappeared. Yeah, and they're like, our price is extremely low we compared have, we to most offer of great our competition. Prices. Like, extremely yeah. low. So they thought that's rude. they were doing you a favor. Exactly. No, she like, wasn't. No, I know, but she wasn't. <laughs> yeah, but, no, but that's, that's what, what, what that was her mentality. Yeah, right? and it's yeah. like, this is what we, this is <laughs> no, a job. <laughs> this isn't something that I'm like, you know, right. a hobby. This yeah. is what I went to college for. This is where I make my money. Exactly. You know, I'm not going to shoot And we're not even Unless I reach. Unless I reach out to somebody, like if I, there's a male model that we're like, he would be great for this shot, and I reach well, out. That, you know, that's one thing. That's an enhancement to your yeah, business. Yeah, but right, I mean, yeah. you know, if somebody's like, hey, I'd love to have this shoot done, how much? Mm. And you tell them, they're like, okay, bye. <laughs> it's well, like, okay. okay bye. There you go. Yeah. I think there's a lack of respect for photographers in the industry in general, because it's not just us that complain about this. We are members of many uh, photography and modeling groups, not just in Louisville, but in the Midwest and nationally. And this is a common thread that comes up. Models yeah. expect shit for free. It's not happening for free. We don't like pay our bills for free, so you don't get your portfolio work for free. I mean, it should be a tip for tap. Kate and I got our start by paying a photographer to shoot us. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's respectful. You don't just expect something for free. It's, it's incredibly you, I rude. think you arrived after they, ex they share how they met. You, you came here after the, how they met. Well, I'll tell you. No, you, you heard how we met. <laughs> Did you hear how they met? I don't know. I don't think. A photo did. shoot. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I heard all that. Yeah, he's you know, I've been here for a minute. Yeah, you know, I got that down pat. Yeah, okay. he was here. What I'm wondering though, is is it more that these uh, aspiring models sometimes are like thinking that they're thinking from from a standpoint of hey, I'm you know they're, they're looking for like I'm good enough to where somebody should want me as a model. They don't understand what you were all doing as much. Yeah, and they're that's looking, exactly what they think. But yeah. they don't understand that she has college loans. We yeah. have a eight thousand dollar camera or whatever that we're in equipment that we're shooting with or whatever. That all costs money and it doesn't come for. Free. I just have to like stress to everybody like that inquires like this is my job. This is yeah. not a hobby. This is not something like oh I want to shoot on the weekends for fun because it's cool. It's not that. This is my job. Full time photography. Mm -hmm. It's like art meets subject and and they both are coming from an equal footing it's like you gotta you you have to say hey i'm doing this to come up as well and i'm doing this to come up as well yeah and so it's you just got to get that understanding that it's like we're, we're in this as a yeah maybe you're not you know hollywood quality yet and maybe i, I don't know how to do that yet but it's like you have to you have to come together and make the art and that's where the best stuff happens yeah is when people come together at the same level exactly and not have any like like cognitive you know like ego involved yeah i would fully agree with that and but i think that people need to appreciate art and pay for art and that goes for all levels of art not just photography but if you want to buy a painting don't expect it from your friend for free or no. if your friend does uh, oh that happens to me all the time as far as my photography you know like um Friends some, are the worst. <laughs> friends and family. They really are. Friends yeah, they'll be like, moving. "Hey, um, do you want to? Do you care to take these pictures? Um, and I will, you know, give you this or that." And I'm like, "Do I come to like? If you work at a you ever do weddings or anything like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's oh, oh but like I wouldn't go wedding. to your place of employment and ask for something for free. Like I wouldn't go to the grocery store and be like, "Hey, here's all these groceries. Can I have them for free since you're my friend? You know, that's how people." see things sometimes especially like with photography any art you know mm -hmm. they expect a discount they expect it for free mm -hmm. and it's like no that's not how it works you know this is my job it's just it's different definitely it's yeah i mean just because uh, back in the day kind of a taboo thing yeah i mean not you know well, we're coming to an evolution we're going from a well, you know, we went through the industrial revolution. We're going through the uh, technological revolution, and eventually, when we all get comfortable enough to to support all aspects of humanity, 
will go through a, an art revolution. Art has always had to fight for its way into society up oh, until definitely. now. Oh, definitely. Agreed. It's totally had agreed. to fight. I mean, it's had to be like so contra, you know, societal. It's like coming against it because society's like, hey, I we got to eat. I knew you'd bring this, this all home for us. Right? So it's like, so the, all this is is an expression of art okay. that is, is, is evolving. It's like, well, the reason I know this is because in the 80s, when the first time I heard rap music, it like it, it cracked my shell. It's cracked everything that I was, and I heard Run DMC, and I heard NWA, and I heard those people, and I was like, "Holy shit, this ain't like what the life that I'm experiencing is about." This is about your that this life kind of sucks, and you're mad at it, and I'm already mad at it because you know I came out of the womb and that shit didn't feel good. So, <laughs> like. I, I, I felt that shit, and now I'm like evolving and understanding that shit. So this art, this art, there, this art isn't anything. They shouldn't have to say that they've had they so many qualifications to, right. no, and they so many. We, to, we've handled this so humbly and carefully, and with kid gloves. This is just art coming out, yeah. and people aren't ready for it. So we have to like treat them like children and say, "Oh, it's not that bad. Don't worry." Hey. You know, it, I, it doesn't yeah. matter that Easy E had a hard experience in Compton, and he's like, "Fuck the police coming straight from the underground." A young has the bag because I'm brown. Yeah, it, it, we shouldn't we we shouldn't say it that harshly. Okay, we got it. all right, Russell. Okay, hashtag Me Too is that like that whole female movement, and I and I say it with due respect. Is that, how does that play into like what you all are doing? Does that do do those females who who are all about the hashtag Me Too? Do they frown on like this kind of work? Do you do it? They, they. I haven't experienced that so okay. much. I mean, I'm glad I haven't because I don't want to get into all that, you know. Right. Um, and I'm just one of those people, you know. I, I shoot what I feel and what I love, and like it's. If somebody feels that way, good for them. Yeah. You know, if they don't, good. Stay for Stay in them. your lane. Yeah, yeah, that's how I am, you know. And I'm not, you know, I don't. Mm. I'm not against gay people. I'm not against the whole Me Too. You know, mm-hmm. I just go with the flow, and I just go what I think feels right. And it's never really interfered though with our, you know, with our business or our shooting. Good. Um, yeah, that whole issue is just. I just brought up um, hashtag Me Too. Oh, uh, don't get me started on that. Well, I mean, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll kind of finish it because I uh, just bring I'm it home. I'm not a fan g- of the hashtag Me no, Too. No, I okay. was saying like it's not affected like our our art. Really or, whatsoever. No. Yeah, because I mean, that movement would frown, uh, would definitely frown on uh, what you're on. Very much, and um, on a personal level, which I will not associate with Kate, and I'm not going to associate with our work at all, because I know that I have been a lightning rod for a lot of my opinions, so I'm going to really scale back what I want to say on this issue. <laughs> But ahead. I am not a fan of the Me Too movement, even though I am, as I said, a sex-positive feminist. And earlier I said that I have separated myself from the feminists because they're so fucking ridiculous at this point. I saw that they had an article where they uh, made Kleenex get rid of man-sized Kleenexes. Because that was offensive. I didn't even know there was a man-sized Kleenex. To women because there was a man-sized Kleenex. It sounds like fake news. This is a real news. This is an actual real news. I looked it up because I also no, I believe you. but I'm, I'm completely embarrassed of a lot of things so to me it's all, all about accountability um, a lot of people imply that we are overly friendly with the men that we shoot and that kind of thing and we don't shit where we eat that's our rule so no there's not a lot of uh, overly friendly that goes on on set it's very professional mm-hmm. like I said you will see some nudity but we try to oh this needs fixing and you just like look away when somebody's getting dressed or undressed or whatever and oftentimes you know I'll have a completely nude female or male model I have to position them just such but I'm not looking at their genitals that's not what I'm truly observing Kate is observing light and focus when she's looking at the camera and so mm-hmm. she might not see positioning when she's shooting I'm scanning the model with my eyes like is her arm in the right place is there a hair out of place is their bra strap twisted or whatever the case is and that's what I'm doing so dude you, you got here way too late <laughs> <laughs> oh no I'm enjoying it exactly <laughs> it, it was a good segment well you can see the finished product there well, let's. I think it's. A, it, at some point, it got turned. I don't know if that means, but I feel like it's there. Turned. Turned. Russ is turned. Turned. 
<laughs> all right, ladies, let's let's uh, bring it home. Where can everybody find you all on social media? Yes, on Skin on Skin Boudoir on Instagram or on Facebook. Facebook. Skin on Skin Boudoir. Skin on skin. But on we Instagram, don't... we're a lot more liberal. Yeah, so I follow on, us on Facebook, Instagram. we get thrown in Facebook jail if we post certain things. All the time. But it <laughs> seems like Instagram's like way ahead of in- yeah, Facebook anymore. But you know, Facebook owns Instagram. Yeah, yes. but it's, we're aware. But, but it's, it's yeah, like, it's, it's yeah. way different. Instabook. Right. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, good stuff. We're always looking for clients. We're always. I, I want to keep. I want to kind of jump on this little journey with you guys because I think you're really on to something. And, well, uh, and that's the thing. It's like uh, we have the goods. It's like just getting our names out there and letting well, people know. I will that's do my a, part because I, I think you know, I, that's a hard part about. I, I have people... a lot of uh, male friends who. But pause, Kevin. When are you gonna book your shoot? This <laughs> after this setting. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll, we'll talk. I, we'll I, put I, it actually, on Facebook. I'm, I'm not saying no. <laughs> I'm not saying no. But Russ we'll is talk. definitely going to shoot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's in. He shoots. He scores. I ain't scared. <laughs> I, he ain't scared. Okay, Jen. Thanks for hanging out. No, thank you for having me. Whatever you. I can do for you. Yeah, it's this, been great. We'll, we'll do it again. It's so nice to be able to tell people our story and what we do, and yeah. you know that I we're think, not a bunch of perverts taking pictures yes. of naked men. I think there's a lot of very <laughs> curious questions about things, and these are a lot of the same questions that I have to go through with with mm-hmm. clients when they write us. And so I'm right. glad that we had this conversation openly and honestly. Yeah, and if anybody has questions, like shoot us a message on yeah. it's Instagram. Yeah. I mean, That's like right. we're open. If you have a question, you know, if you're very cool, you know, I like what you're. It's it's very. Whatever you're about to say, stop. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> How would you end of end? Gonna, I've cut off. Oh, no. I was just gonna say, how dare, how dare you all own your own sexuality? It's just, I mean, I just can't believe it. I'm offended myself well, that you all are real. like confident, smart, strong women I know. that are Looks owning brains, owning yeah. your Looks like your life. art forms, your sexuality, yeah. your your passion. I mean, I'm, I'm offended. Russ, you can show us how offended you are by buying us these round of drinks. Oh, I'm I mean, all about, all about, all right. all yeah. about all right. empowering. We're I'm sponsored by yeah. Kevin Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies, thanks for hanging out. Awesome. Thank you for thank having you us, so honestly. Thank you.